I don't know what this video is. I'm back. So... I went back to Newcastle for a couple of days because it was my mum's birthday. And now I'm back. I'm back in Sydney. Yeah. And I filmed a little bit of stuff there. Not really, but a little bit. But now I've got to go buy myself a toothbrush right after I play a bit of that b-ball. Bit of that... Get those cords. Bit of this action. Right after I'm done there, I'm gonna get a toothbrush because I left my toothbrush in fucking Newcastle and the teeth have been feeling a little bit, a little bit, how do I say, disgusting. I hate it when people say their teeth feel furry, but I'm, I'm so sorry to admit that mine feel a little bit furry. Furry. You know, I was doing this last night and I sort of thought that this is what Oompa Loompas would look like when they're flirting each other, when Willy Wonka leaves the factory, when they're like left alone. Willy Wonka would be like, I. Be like, alright, motherfuckers, I'm out. Keep making that chocolate. Because Oompa Loompas are slaves, basically. No one ever talks about that, but they're just like. They're fucking slaves. Where are they gonna go? Out in the real world? No one's gonna serve an Oompa Loompa. So yeah, Willy Wonka's like, Yeah, I'm out. And you keep working and get sleep deprived. Then he leaves. All the Oompa Loompas are like, <laughs> they're like, <laughs> they're like, Oompa, Oompa, Divity. I need to brush these teeth. See you, bitch. I got this spot. Awesome. Mm. Fucking me. Okay, alright, let's call this call into session, shall we? For the first offender for a crime committed just a few months ago, we have Vincent Kerr. I'm still eating my sandwich. Okay. Here. Here. Yes. Now this, you've got mayonnaise on your cheek. Oh, I'm not surprised. Because we're eating lunch. There you go. All right. This relates to an offence that you committed back in June. Do you have any recollection that I could possibly be talking about? No, I can't actually. So you don't want to confess. You confess now, it'll be a lot easier for you in the future. Anything involving a share on Facebook? A share on Facebook. June. Um, look, Matt. Posted to your Facebook page on the 10th of June Hello. is a post shared to Grandma's Funnies dash rated R, which you then chose to repost on your personal Facebook page. It goes along like this A 10 year old girl asks her mum, Mummy, how was I born? The mother smiled and replied, once upon a time, me and your daddy decided to plant a wonderful little seed. Daddy took it in the earth and I took care of it every single day. After a while, the seed started to grow more and more leaves and in a few months it turned into a beautiful, healthy plant. So we took the plant, dried it, smoked it, and got so high that we forgot to wear a condom. Guess who's back? <laughs> Did I pass that? The reason I brought you to this case, court case today, titled Keeping Boomers in Check on Facebook, is to ensure that you never post anything like that ever again on your Facebook. So is it is that the marijuana reference that you is offend you, or is it the sex reference? It's the entire post. It's from a category you could call boom. Is this true? Yeah. And if anything further happens, there will be proof of just taken away. Punishment, 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 a warning and a suspension for posting. Do you want to apologize? That's perfect. Look, I admit that that, yeah, on reflection, that's not the sort of post that I would normally post, but, you know, get over it. Just me walking my dog. Welcome, my dog. I don't know. Oh, oh. I don't think so. Hold on. 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 Hold on.